What do you do when hay is too dry to bale? Are you faced with leaf-shattering decisions when the schedule demands that you bail when you shouldn't? Is too dry hay keeping you up at night? There's a simple, affordable solution to all of these issues. Make your own do. The Model 720 Dew Simulator from Harvest Tech can take the stress out of your baling operation. This machine is a practical yet ingenious invention that softens hay by adding moisture to the entire windrow in the form of heated mist, conditioning the crop before it hits the baler pickup. It is a simple process, yet how it's done is interesting. Let's take an inside look at how the 720 Dew Simulator works. Cold water is pumped from a tow-behind water tank trailer by a high-pressure, high-volume PTO-driven cat piston pump through the coils of two in-series diesel-fired water heaters. The water heaters will burn approximately 7 to 9 gallons of diesel fuel per hour as they heat only when applying water. These dual heaters quickly boost the water temperature and automatically maintain an output temperature of 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Heated water has been shown to be more effective at softening dry windrows for proper baling. An onboard flow meter displays output rates of the heated mist and guides the operator when manually adjusting application rate with changing windrow conditions. Operating at pressures between 300 to 1100 PSI at 240 degrees Fahrenheit, the dew simulator creates a cone-shaped mist with droplets between 20 and 40 microns in size. The 240 degree mist is delivered inside the windrow by a revolving tine reel with 65 tines and an operating width of 45 inches, expandable to 59 inches. The cam design reel allows the tines to enter and exit the windrow vertically without disturbing the hay. In addition, actuating roller valves release the heated mist only when the tine tips are at the bottom of the windrow, delivering moisture the same way natural dew occurs. The windrow application can be customized with 11 adjustable trip sections, delivering more moisture to the top or bottom of the windrow. The unit's frame includes a torsion axle suspension for smooth travel and a rear hitch receiver rated at 16,000 pounds for a variety of water trailers. The tine reel is ground-driven by the outside wheel, ideally matching reel rotation to ground speed. Operation travel can vary from 2 to 14 miles per hour to match the field operation of one big baler or alternatively treat windrows ahead of two small square balers. The tractor operator monitors and manages the amount of moisture applied with an easy-to-use in-cab touchscreen display. Between 10 and 18 gallons of water per ton of crop can be applied, depending on the amount of moisture needed to soften the crop and preserve the leaves. The heated mist penetrates and softens the windrow when applied ahead of the baler and stays in the windrow longer than steam. This process provides a valuable benefit in arid regions where hay that's too dry shatters when baled, significantly reducing its value. A recent field study conducted during the 2020 harvest season by Utah State University proved that crop recovery is more profitable when using the dew simulator to reintroduce moisture to the windrow, softening the plant material, increasing bale weights, and retaining more valuable leaves. The field study was conducted during July and August alfalfa cuttings near Milford, Utah, and the results showed a positive financial impact for using the Harvest Tech Dew Simulator. As this chart shows, average bale weight increased 82 pounds, resulting in a $12.72 bonus per acre, based on hay value of $200 per ton. Visually, you can also see that the bales treated with the dew simulator had greater leaf retention and a superior appearance versus the untreated bales. If you would like more information about the Utah State Field Study, complete test results are available on the Harvest Tech website. Definitely drier climate up here. It's hard to get dew at night sometimes. Definitely hard to find the right dew to be able to bale um, and trying to put up 800 acres with one baler makes it a trick being as spread out as we are here. Uh, we got the dew simulator hoping to extend our baling time and it has certainly done that. We've been able to oh, approximately double the amount of time that we can run during the day. We can do about 100 acres of 
premium alfalfa each day between running with the natural dew in the morning and at night and then using the simulator throughout the course of the day. So we're seeing better yields. Uh, our tests are coming in equally to pay put up with the natural dew. In some cases even better depending on the field. Overall it has really changed the way that we've run our production here. Adding the dew simulator will positively improve your baling operation by helping you decide when to bale. You'll cover more acres and bring in better appearing and better testing bales with more consistent weights. And you can take the dew simulator to the field only when you need it. Don't let dry hay keep you up at night. Make your own dew. Take a closer look at what the Model 720 dew simulator can do for your hay quality and value and how it can benefit your operation. See what more customers are experiencing by viewing their video recorded remarks on the Harvest Tech YouTube channel. For more information, visit www.harvesttech.com or call 800-635-7468. Harvest Tech innovates and markets equipment and products for better quality hay.